What's up, everybody? Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Apparently, my solar panel's casting shadows on my face. Um, so, we're picking back up where we left off with the working on the um, little fighter build here. I've gotten a few suggestions, which I think I'm going to make use of. One being to change um, the cockpit from the fighter type to the stubbier regular one because it's uh, a little less resource intensive and um, in terms of the armor plating if we go with something similar to this it will end up being easier to armor armor it up also I was informed so we'll probably do it this way uh, that the heavy armor is not quite as resilient as it used to be uh, since some of the changes that were made by uh, the devs, because I think it's something like, not that the armor's changed, but they've added some kind of a explosive effect to different ammo types and things, apparently, according to comments and whatnot. Um, so we might do it in light armor anyway, because it'll be cheaper and um, if it's not quite as effective as the heavy armor used to be, there wouldn't really be a lot of point in it. There was also a suggestion about including a shield mod with that kind of idea in mind. I, I'm thinking about it, but I don't think I want to do it right now. Mainly just because of I'd like to keep it as vanilla as I can uh, without... Like, if it ends up being one of those where we try it and it's just... It's a, it's a bullet sponge that just doesn't... You know, nothing works. Now, one thing that I want to see, though, is... Did... Okay, this has the large port on the back. That's part of why I was using that. Hmm. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Give me this one. And this one. That... That changes things a little bit, I think. Though I'm not sure if it'll matter, considering that um, all that's really needed for the... Uh, for the cockpit is oxygen. And that only really matters if you're going into space. So the fact that it doesn't line up via the connectors may not matter. Um, as you can see here, I also added the conveyors back uh, to this. Did something just... I can't tell if something shot a missile or not. I don't think so. I, I would have heard it, but... I thought I saw some kind of flash. Oh well. Um, but anyways, so I added this to extend it back down, which will give us a layer of... Um, armor that we can place without um, without issue. So that's something that I might add. Now the only other thing... I don't really know that it's necessary to add the conveyor system to the cockpit or not because I was thinking about it and I was like well maybe I need that for the air. I probably do need it for the air actually now that I think about it. Um... Maybe not. Let me just check something out real quick. If I jump in with these, does, I don't think my air ever went down. Though they are hooked up to the conveyor, but I don't have any air in them. <laughs> Actually, my power filled back up. I didn't even realize that. So, yeah, I think we're okay on that. I don't think I need to do anything with that. Um, it also brings it down a little bit. So, that means... We only have to go out to here, and then we could kind of keep doing what we were talking about on this one. Now, is this heavy? This is heavy. So let's just do the light ones for this instead. And... Or actually... Do I need that there? I don't think I do. Oops, wrong, wrong block. That's what I meant to get. So what I could actually do is put this one back one. And then we can do that there. That'll work, I think. Um, Alright, so let's get this out of here. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Come on. Sometimes the collision detection on this is just not where I'd like it to be. 
it does considerably cut down, even if we go with heavy armor eventually, like even if um, I get a bunch of comments telling me that that information is not accurate or something, I think it is, but I don't, I don't keep up with a lot of that stuff. I try and read the update logs, but as far as all of the different um, balancing things and stuff, I don't think I ever really paid close enough attention for it to matter. There we go. Um, but if it did end up being an issue, um, I think... Wait, is that right? Yeah. This would still end up being... I don't... I started to say I think. I don't know why. Because it would. This would still end up being a much lower profile to have to contend with. Alright, and one more ought to give me a good baseline. Yeah, so that's a little better. Um, and it actually dropped it one lower as well, so that's a good thing. Okay, um, is this still heavy? That's light, that's not. Oh! I thought that would have considered it the same thing. Oops. Well, at least we have an idea, I guess, of how that would look. I mean, we're not really at the hull stage yet, so I don't really need it. I was kind of just planning it out. But, I guess that's one way to do it. Oh, right. I don't need this one to be that. Okay. Um, so, did I build these up all the way? Oh, wow, I did. I don't know that I meant to do that. Uh, let's try and use some of our materials here. Um, and I'm going to connect these up as well. Like so, because I think all of this down here is heavy as well. Yep. I was hoping that would work. I'm always a little confused by what is considered attached and what it is, and some things it's like it you would think it would, and then other times stuff stays attached that you wouldn't think would work. It's just kind of odd sometimes. Alright, um, and I should probably give a brief little disclaimer, so to speak. This episode is going to be a little bit on the let's buildy side, um, because my primary focus is the, the fighter design here. I'm going to try and work through it relatively quickly and do just kind of the bare bones what's necessary and not focus too, too much on it as far as um, not get too carried away. But, you know, just kind of a heads up. Also, I did have an interesting idea. A couple of people were asking me about space. Like, um, is space in the planet? And I was thinking, well, of course it is. It's space engineers, not Earth engineers. Um, but I have been spending a lot of time on the on the ground, so to speak, but it was mainly with the idea of getting a base going. So we have the Sky Factory, which was kind of our literal base level base kind of thing, like, you know, we, we finally had it mobile, but we had everything stored in that ship. Then we took over this, um, and now we have a couple of drones for building and stuff like that. Uh, the fighter is going to be for easier takeovers of other ships that we haven't seen yet. I am planning on sticking with the rule of um, trying not to do too much takeover type things if I've already got them because, or I've already done it before because it could get a little on the redundant side or something like that. I don't know. It'll just depend. If our projects get really big and I don't feel like... Um, Essentially what it comes down to is do you grind, like, uh, literally grind, like drills and mining, or do you take over other ships and dismantle them? And I think that's kind of the... I don't know, I don't... I would think that both would get a little redundant after some time, but at the same time, I could definitely see combat and takeovers going much um, further than just mining all the time with a drill. So, that's something you guys can let me know. 
uh, how you feel about all that kind of stuff as to which way you'd prefer to see stuff happen. Um, but I'm going to try and kind of plan on doing things a little bit more um, dynamic and not doing a lot of the same things all the time. But in this case, I kind of needed a fighter to do that a little bit more because there's a couple of these ships that I haven't seen before and I would like to have taken over one or two of them. Now this is interesting. I figured I'd build and talk at the same time. Kill two birds, one stone. If I keep the ramp structure going, uh, that would be the corner, then the inverted, then the corner, inverted, corner, inverted, etc. Unless I did um, actual ramp ramps here, but then that wouldn't quite line up with the edge. So if we did that and went that way, so these blocks are the inverted corners, um, but it would end there. So that's kind of interesting. Oh, one thing we could do with that. Let me confirm something real quick. I need another block there to hold that in place. So if I were to do, it would look something like this. So those would be all along there. And then you'd have that there. And then this one one would be there I don't really like that it's kind of an inverted angle if it was facing the other way like that way it could work this way not so much so we may have to change up what I was planning here might not do it that way uh, I'm not sure what I'll do but I don't think I'm gonna do it that way one way we could do this is to have a, uh, a solid block level here and then do regular ramps and go this way. That's one option. Um, kind of like, I think it would look a little odd, but you could do something like this right there. I don't like that as much. Or I could just do that and then extend the ramp out one and go up. That might be how I do that. Because if we do it that way, wrong button. I'm going to use up so much hydrogen just floating here. Um, then we could do it something like this, and this would probably work a lot better. And then if we're here, uh, we could put a block there and then maybe do... Oh, I know! We could actually use the thing that I've been seeing a lot in the inspiration episodes, which is using the tips and the half slopes. That could work. Or I guess it would go like that, not really the half slopes, but whatever. Um, and I might change that design too, depending on how this all ends up going from this angle down here. But that's the general idea of the shape that I was gonna do or going for. So that's kind of kind of what I was thinking. Um, I think too large atmosphere. Phoenix should be enough to keep it afloat, I think. Maybe. Could be wrong. Um, oh, I need, I need batteries and stuff too, don't I? Alright, so let's do some of this. So let's grab an area... Wait, why can't I build on, on that? Oh! <laughs> I had it on like a half block. I was like, wait a minute. So let's bring this here so that we can get rid of this area and our ship doesn't fall like so um all right so i need a battery so we have cargo i think let me just double check because all these blocks can look alike as the scaffold form so we have cargo conveyor and then the uh, cockpit and then conveyors out to the side so yeah I don't have any batteries yet um, I think it would work best vertically like I've been doing them so let's put one there and maybe
be one there, but I'll have to get rid of this block setup. Um, I'm not sure if this will hold it. Now that I'm thinking about it. So we're going to have to go like this. It looks weird, but I'm just looking at the collision detection things and I think it'll fall if I don't do that. Of course, I could always just break the the thrusters and then just move them somewhere, I suppose, but where's the fun in that? Okay, that should hold it pretty good. So we should be safe in getting rid of... Until you break the block it's connected to, you dummy. <sighs> Alright, hold on a minute. Alrighty, so I've been doing some work here and there on this, and I think I got it in a pretty good spot. I've been playing around with some different ideas. Um, so the first one is you can tell that I moved the rocket turret off to the side a little bit. Because I was playing around with this shape here, and I know it's probably hard for you guys to see because everything's just scaffolds, essentially. Um, but I thought, well, I'll bring out the ramp to the length or the width of the cockpit and then I'll walk it down and see where it ends up. Actually ended up perfect with the ramp on this side. The only problem is that would mean that this isn't f like all the way up. It would kind of be at an angle. Not sure how I feel about that one. So what I figured I'd do is I'd bring this one out and then we can play around with it. Now I also added the thrusters back here along with two batteries. And the idea is I'll probably try and come off of here and go down to this with armor, but we can't cover this up if I keep those there because they'll be pointing out that way. So I have two thrusters going to the left and right. We've got two large ones for the vertical. And then on the bottom underneath here, I have, it's hard to tell, but these two on the upper outer edges are the reverse thrusters going this way. And at the moment it doesn't look like they would hit anything, so they're good. And then this four plus shape, or half plus, I guess, three, four fifths of a plus? Four fifths of a plus shape, that's a weird shape, um, are going this way. So that's the forward facing thrusters. So, I'm not sure that I'm going to keep it that way, but it's kind of one of those that's as good of a plan as any. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this part, but I may just do the, the standard slopes and just walk it back and try and keep them at the edge there, or maybe do some kind of indent, I'm not sure. But then I'm thinking, or what I might do is out one, like um, one block over from here. It's hard to, it's not letting me put anything anywhere. Come on. So kind of like this maybe, with this block in the center gone. Because um, we have to allow for the thruster damage, but it doesn't actually have to be level with the thruster. So I may walk, because what I'd like to do is walk the armor plating around and wrap it around the back so that the back thrusters and everything are protected as well. Um, I'm also thinking that since there's two, oh wait, where's the conveyor? Huh. I just realized I may have a bit of an issue with connecting the ship. Ooh, wait, maybe, no, that won't work with these guns there. I was going to say I could put the connector on, under the cockpit, but then two problems. One, it's not connected to the large system, so I might have to replace these with conveyors instead of tubes and then have a connector on the bottom edge of these maybe. Um, but what I was thinking of maybe putting a landing gear in the middle here since these thrusters on the sides won't damage it and these are facing the other direction. And with a two or three block clearance, we could actually have it a little bit kind of recessed into the ship so you wouldn't see the landing gear as much. Um, but the connectors are going to be something I've got to think about because as it stands, I don't think it's safe to put it onto the cargo container, nor do I think that would work because I have it set up facing this 
way, I think. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have it facing into the conveyor. Um, I... So yeah, it doesn't have... There's one off the back I could have made use of. Hmm. But that wouldn't really help me anyway, because if I came off of the back here and brought a connector down, I'd be facing these thrusters. So that may not work either. And I could always do stuff like putting the thrusters on the sides facing the, the forward thing and kind of making more wing pod, but I don't know. I'm thinking at the moment my best bet is going to be to remove these and replace them with conveyors that face down and then put um, connectors, I think. That'll probably be my best option. I'm not sure. Um, all of this is functional. It's whether or not it would really look right. The other thing that I thought of for up here, now this doesn't speak to the whole nose, because I may end up extending the nose slightly, or, or cutting it back, actually? I'm not really sure. I guess I could either... I have a couple of options. One is to raise up the, uh, the ramp nose, bring it up one. The other is to bring this back one and have it stop here, which is probably the best option now that I'm looking at it a little closer. Because what I could do... Inventory full. Oh crap. Um, what I could do is try and get rid of some of these steel plates, I guess. Um, that doesn't really do anything. I think all of these are already... they already have their plates and stuff. It's usually the thing that I carry around on me the most. Um, let's just drop some of these. Or all of them. That works too. Um, so, one of the things that I was thinking of doing is if we bring this back, because now I'm not as focused on um, walking it all the way down and I'm okay leaving one of these gaps, uh, then basically it would, yeah, it would look something like this. And then I could trim this part back and have the ramps on the underbelly start right there. So it adds a little bit more of a squared off nose, but meh, it would work. Um, so my other option on the sides though, is if I were to say, I think I was using the nose pieces, wasn't I? Over here, or did I use the base? Nope, use the nose, okay. So if I were to want to bring it up like this, I don't think I could get away with doing that one without raising this whole section, but, so for now let's assume I don't. We'll do something like this. And if I were here, what I could do is not... Oh, really? Now I need steel plates? Good grief. Okay, fine. What I was saying is do something like this, and then basically just create this as a straight line. And then I'm free to have this be a bit more covered, if you will. Um, so that's an option. I'm not sure how I would want to do that. Now, for this part, that would mean I'd put that there, and then I guess you would put the nose like that? And then you would essentially square this off into a solid block and move it that way. So that's one option. That would kind of work. Um, and I can kind of do that over on the other side, but like I said, if I keep this angle going, then this is going to be much more exposed. So I think even though it's a little less flashy and it doesn't look as cool, I think I'm probably going to end up doing something like this. Maybe. Now this does leave us quite a bit of room um, at the moment, so I'll probably end up Oh, I know where I could put those. I was thinking these are in the way. I can't keep the top all armored if these reactors are here, but I could put them on the cargo container over here because it should have a... Wait, is that... That's a gyroscope. I need a reactor. There it is. 
Um, it should have a small conveyor port on the side there. So I think I can get away with doing that and they would still be connected. Now I may change this up and put a small conveyor there if for some reason I decide or you guys let me know that for some reason I might need the small conveyor ports and need more access to those. Then I could put a conveyor there and then branch off of that. Um, actually, let's do that on this side. Sorry for the, the jumpy camera thing. <laughs> Excuse me. The jumpy camera thing. Um, it seems like if you're looking down and then you jetpack, it automatically snaps you. Or if you're looking like this and then you switch weapons. So I apologize if that was getting a little um, jumpy for everybody. But what I meant is I could do something like this and then put the uh, reactors kind of like this. So that's another option if we want to keep the conveyor ports a bit more open for other stuff. And it probably works better in truth. Now as for the gyroscopes, someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought I remembered placement of the gyroscopes mattering. Is that not the case? I can't remember. It may not be the case anymore. They may have changed that. I thought at some point that the um, the gyroscopes had to be not necessarily facing, but kind of up, down, left, and right had to be oriented correctly, but I could definitely be wrong. I'm not thinking they do anymore. I think that was something in an older build, or it was just it only existed in my imagination. One of those two. <laughs> I'm not really sure anymore. Um... I don't think I need this many reactors either, but we'll put we'll put four. That should be more than enough. It's probably overkill, but I like symmetry and I've got the extra ports, so we're gonna keep it. Um, yeah, and I don't think these have a forward and backward anymore, so I'm just gonna place it like that and hope it's right. Um, let's see. A couple of other things that we need are probably like a beacon and an antenna, but we'll probably fill those in later. I can't really think of too much else other than if I wanted to put a either interior... Wait, can I do interior turrets on a small grid? I don't think you can. Can you? I really don't think you can pretty sure. Yeah, they're just for large. It makes sense, it's an interior, but they do so many of the uh, large ship, small ship type things that I wasn't sure if they added that functionality or not. So if I wanted to put an, in uh, an interior, a Gatling turret here, that would be another thing that I'd have to factor in. And in fact, if I did that, I probably would raise this up one or move the gyroscopes and use the conveyor ports on the side. Actually, let me weld this all together because I want to make sure those ports are facing the right way because I just remembered they're only on one... S yeah, okay, they're only on the sides. So if I had had it flipped the other way, that wouldn't have worked. So I could put the gyroscopes out here and then run a conveyor up over and then that way and connect it to the turret that way because I believe this is going to be a large port. Or no, a small port, sorry. Yeah. So that's the small ports. Um, and if the turret was a little bit smaller, I could have put that there, but it's not. So I'm either going to have to cover up those ports and then run conveyors from here to it, um, or I have to raise it up one and then run them from underneath and just kind of wrap them around. The latter probably being the more efficient, if I'm being honest. Um, it's probably a lot smarter of a solution to have it up here like this. Actually, that's... Is that right? No, it would need to be back one more than that. Um, for symmetry's sake. But I could put that there and then run a conveyor up and around and connect it on the sides and maybe even the back. Who knows? So that's kind of the idea overall. I think it could work. It, Like I said, it won't be the prettiest ship ever, but it should function and function relatively well. Um, 
Now, if I do it this way, it doesn't matter if I raise this up one because it'll just mean the ramp goes further back. And with this block one more back, if I do it that way, then I'd actually be able to keep the ramp tips going on the top here. Actually, I probably could still do that anyway, now that I'm thinking about it. So it may not matter. Um, because I'll just I'll just show you real quick what I'm meaning in case anybody doesn't quite get it. So if we get rid of this, get rid of this accidentally placed block, and then I think that's more in line. Yes. So from here, then I could basically do um, like this. And I wouldn't even have to move it, actually. That's kind of convenient. Then I could use the tips and go like this, like we had talked about before. And it would kind of match this over here. So I think that'll work overall. I kind of like that idea. So I'll probably keep it. I'll have to remove those blocks under there, but I'll probably just connect it with conveyors uh, and stuff like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. So anyways, um... I think we're getting a pretty good idea, unless there's any, like, super major glaring issues that you guys see as far as, like, you know, um, it's not gonna hold up well. I'll probably try and fill in a lot of this with just extra armor plating, more than likely, because steel is pretty cheap for me at the moment, and I know it would add more weight, but it, I'm thinking it would give it a bit more stability, so let me know what you guys think of that. Again, I'm not opposed to adding a shield mod, but I kind of like to keep it as vanilla as I can, if possible. But if the Pv PvE combat stuff ends up being like nothing is super durable anymore, um, well, you know, I might have to look into a shield, because I'm not opposed to it. I like the idea of shields. I hope that's something that Space Engineers adds in vanilla before the game goes out of early access, to be honest. Um, just because it would cut down on, even if the shield generator is super expensive and it costs a lot of power to balance it, I still think it'd be a nice touch to the game to be able to, if you really wanted to make sure your stuff was protected, having like a shield type thing. But let me know. I don't mind if you guys don't mind for adding it in. I know we were trying to keep it as vanilla as we can, but if that's something you guys would prefer having rather than watching me have to repair my ships all the time, then that's fine. Um... The repairing part, it, it all kind of works together as far as I'd be more okay with taking over other ships and things if we were getting damaged a lot and stuff and it was just an easier way to get parts. Um, you know, I'm not as opposed to it. So let me know what you guys think about the design, if there's any glaring issues you guys see or recommendations you might have. Um, one thing I wanted to mention really quickly is that I don't think think if I have my schedule right, everything's been super hectic for me lately between the holidays, trying to finish up my book stuff, or work on my book stuff, things like that. Um, things have been kind of crazy, so I may have my scheduling off a little bit, but I believe it's going to be next week. I don't think there will be any episodes. I'm taking my Christmas vacation, uh, mainly because due to some family scheduling things. My family's not doing as much on Christmas as they normally do. We're doing it mostly like the week before. There's a lot going on the week before, so it made more sense. Um, so I'll probably, this will probably be the last episode of the Let's Play series for, um, yeah, so it, it'll basically a week. So there won't be one next week and then Christmas week, uh, it'll come back. Um, so, yeah, feel free to take extra time and, and leave your thoughts and things if you'd like. Um, that works. That'll basically apply to all of my series, so I just kind of wanted to give everybody a heads up on that. Also, I had a really good idea based on a comment um, that I got. I started talking about it, but I was in such a, like I said, my brain's kind of scatterbrained lately, that I was so focused on building the ship I kind of forgot about it. But um, I had a comment asking me about space and what kind of ship I would be doing when I decide to go to space. Would it be just a straight NASA type rocket, bare bones, just whatever you need to get space? Or am I going for like a Corvette type style where it's got, you know, decorative design, interior armor plating, that kind of thing. And I, I told them, I wasn't really sure how I was going to handle that yet because a lot of these builds, even these little fighters seem to take up multiple episodes. And I didn't want to turn in my um, uh, Let's Play into a Let's Build, especially since I'm already doing one. So, um, and everybody knows 
my Let's Build episodes, how long it's been taking me to build a, cor uh, a big, big flagship type of thing. So, you know, bear that in mind. So basically, I had an idea, though, of if you guys have designs that either you have built or you wanted to build one specifically for me, things like that, um, I think I might actually leave it open to a uh, viewer submission kind of thing. And if everybody wants to, if everyone's like, no, stop being lazy, build it yourself, that's fine. <laughs> um, but if you'd like to save me some time and recommend, hey, this is one I built, I think it'd be fun for you, you know, that kind of thing, then I will try and sift through some of them um, whatever you guys recommend and see if I find one that really goes, Ooh, this really stands out. I like it. I'll use that one. And if that's the case, then I'll probably load that in as a blueprint and build it and save us all some time. Um, I'm not really looking for just stuff off of the workshop. Like, Hey, this is a cool one. Um, I think it'd be more interesting to do it as either something that viewers have built, like you guys have designed yourself. Um, or if it was designed specifically for this let's play like, hey, I build this stuff all the time, I have fun with it, here's a simple design, blah blah blah, that kind of thing. Um, but, I mean, I could randomly just go in and find something off the workshop, but I think it'd be more interactive with you guys if, if it was something that was from you. However, that said, it's an idea, not set in stone. If you guys don't like it, let me know, I'll build my own. So, that's that. No hard feelings. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about all that. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. I will see you all uh, after next week. And so that'll be next time, so I'll see you guys then. Peace!